Okay, so let's have a look at making um, compound objects. So this is going to be a, I'm not entirely sure, chest of drawers, wardrobe. It could be anything along those lines. At the moment, it's just a basic box. And we could texture the box so that it's got drawers and just model a little handle to go with it. Um, but if we wanted to animate, or if we were making a game and we wanted to put something in a drawer that someone could interact with, the drawer comes out, they can pick something up from it. That's not going to, um, it's not going to work particularly well. So what we're going to do is just add in, let's add in a drawer to start with. So I'm bringing my drawer just slightly to the outside of my shape and let's have it fairly deep draw and now we've got the shape that is going to be our draw and I'm going to duplicate that so I'm going to right click on it without doing that hopefully and I'm going to clone or I'm try and clone if it would kindly stop jumping around the place I'm going to clone it, I'm going to make a copy of it, and because we should really name things, I'm going to call this draw so that I know it's not the same thing as what the shape that we're going to use to cut out. So I'm just going to position this slightly better. In fact, I'm going to hide the draw so I don't accidentally leave that one. So I'm going to position this slightly further back. And I'm just going to leave it overhanging very slightly. So now I've got two shapes. I've got the shape that I'm going to cut out for my draw to fit into. And I've got my box that I'm going to cut this out of. On the create menu, on the drop down, we're going to want to go to compound objects. And to make the hole in this, we're going to want to do a Boolean. So a Boolean allows us to combine objects or take objects apart, cut holes in them, stuff like that. So I'm going to add an operand. So each section of a Boolean is called an operand. Because I had box five selected initially, box five is already in there. And I just need to pick up box six. And you'll notice that it's changed color. And box six is now the same color green as box five. It is also been hidden over on this side. At this point, we want to turn the add operands off. Now, when we do turn it off, the rollout is going to disappear from here. And to carry on editing, we need to go to the modify tab. Go to the modify tab, the Boolean is selected, and there's our rollout that we were just using. So making sure that the box that we want to cut out is selected. So in this case, box six. Currently, it's on union, so it's combining them. And we want to subtract box six from box five. So I've just subtracted box six from box five. Now, it hasn't quite gone to plan. I now have a gaping hole at the bottom. So my chest of drawers or whatever this is going to be currently has a hole. So I'm just going to control Z and go backwards. No, well, I wasn't planning on going that far back, but that'll do. But I'm just going to control Z and I'm just going to lift this up slightly so that it is now raised off the floor just a little bit. And now if I repeat the process, so select box five, do the Boolean, add box six. And I don't need to do that straight away. I can keep box six selected and press subtract. Now you can see we've got the hole, but we still have the base. And as soon as we turn the add operands off, there we go, it's disappeared and it's in the modify tab. If I put my draw back in now, and 
select my draw. That will now fit exactly into the gap that we've got. All we need to do is move it up so that the top is aligned. And what we can do with this is if we put three length and three width segments in there, convert it on the polygon modeling to an edit editable poly. And what we can do is if we select the center and shift click to create a loop around the box, we can get our resize tool and resize it in this case on the X axis. If we go the other direction, resize this one on the Y axis. And we can just extrude this center piece down so that our draw now not only will sit inside, but even as the draw moves back, because we've done the compound shape, as our draw moves in, we can see inside the draw and all the way through. And if we rotate it, we could still see objects that were inside that draw. And that's the basic um, approach to creating Boolean objects with holes in. Um, if you were doing something like, say, um, doors for a wardrobe, rather than duplicate the box to make a drawer that will slide in and out, once you've made your box to give you the depth and the shape, from the standard primitives, we can do a couple of smaller boxes. So roughly halfway across, bring it up so that it will cover the gap. And you might want to duplicate that. You might decide that, um, you might decide that actually you only want one door to swing out. Depends on the size of what you're creating, I suppose. And it's just a case of fitting that over the gap. Or if you have already duplicated the box, um, you could always just resize the box in the depth of it to get the same effect. And then what that will allow us to do is just to swing the doors out if we wanted to animate this later. 